It's a big weekend for SEC football, so Marty didn't seem to mind a bit when I told him that some of my best girlfriends and I wanted to load up Dolly RV and head toward West Tennessee to the ultimate campground for a girls weekend. I'm going to head over and get everything ready and we are going to have so much fun and I have a feeling that Dolly is really going to love this one. I've been an entertainment reporter in Nashville covering the country music scene for years, and Dolly is my favorite interview by far. Marty and I have two boys. Our oldest is a photographer and filmmaker who loves the outdoors. The youngest is a songwriter and country music artist, and we can't wait to take Dolly on the road to some of his shows. I've been passing these faded billboards on the interstate for what seems like my whole life, advertising Loretta's Dude Ranch and Campground. She's the one artist on my country music bucket list I haven't yet interviewed and have always been fascinated by her story. I arrived early and spent the morning getting everything all set up before the girls arrived for our weekend. We took a walk around to explore the campground and popped a little jiffy pop over the campfire before catching up over a simple dinner of crockpot chili. We all loved sitting out under the string lights the girls set a fancy table for our big breakfast of scrambled eggs, okay. bacon, fried potatoes, and cinnamon rolls. We had a big hey. day ahead of all things fried Loretta. Fried potatoes are gonna be yummy. The attractions are located all together about two miles from the campground. We shopped in the Western store where you can purchase your tickets for the museum tours of Loretta's homes. So we barely got our tickets to visit the plantation home and tour everything here at Loretta Lynn's Ranch because apparently you have to make reservations yes. in advance. So we had to do a little bit of sweet talk then. Yeah. Major sweet talk. <laughs> <laughs> Once we told them about On the Road with Dolly in our episode and our girls trip, they did feel sorry for us and they booked us on the very next tour. So we are ready to go. Here we go. Our tour started in the replica of Loretta's home from Butcher Holler. Much of the movie Coal Miner's Daughter was filmed in here. Next, we loaded a bus to drive just over the road to the plantation home where Loretta and Mooney raised their children. Loretta now lives in a smaller home in the grounds, but the original home looks just how they left it in the late 80s. Same wallpaper and avocado green bathroom. Our tour guide Derek was the best, and when he found out about my love for Dolly, he shared a story that's not included on the tour. All right, Derek's got the scoop for me on the best Loretta story ever. This is a good one. Okay, now what's the story? So anytime that Loretta and Mooney got it, had it out, yeah. Mooney would actually go and get a poster of Dolly Parton and hang it up in her bedroom. Uh -uh. That they would definitely have it out after that. Uh uh. So he was. It was actually a big crush of hers. He of had, his. So of his. He had a crush on Dolly. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, who doesn't? What I want to do is I want to get the door. We loved door. seeing the kitchen where she filmed all those. Crisco commercials in their beautiful bedroom, also seen in Coal Miner's Daughter. What did you learn that you didn't know before? Loved it. I had forgotten about Crystal Gale being her little sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't it make my brown eyes? She loves Avon. She loves it. Oh, huge Avon lady. Yes, who knew? Yeah, and just her dresses. Okay, we're about to go see more dresses because we are currently walking into the museum to check that out. The museum is full of memorabilia from all stages of Loretta's career dozens of musical instruments, and you could spend hours looking at the rainbow of her stage dresses. Somebody's been doing a little shopping in the gift store. Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> we had a few more of the little shops in Western Town before going inside the coal mine simulation. Yeah, Narrated by Loretta, she wanted this part of the park included to honor her daddy, who spent his whole life working in the mines. Most of the black coal you see scattered around here came from my hometown in Grand Mixed in with the campsites are these cute cabins named for her famous songs, such as Honky Tonk Woman. We stayed up on Stagecoach Hill with full hookups. All of the staff at Loretta's were so nice. Our new buddy Chuck brought us some extra firewood and even came back to the campsite later that night to tell us all kinds of stories from years of renting the campground. So we wanted to keep our meals easy so we weren't spending a whole lot of time cooking. So we decided to do campfire nachos. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. It's going to be super simple. So earlier today, we put some chicken in the crock pot just with a little bit of taco seasoning and some a can of green chilies. We cooked that all day and then just took a couple of forks and shredded it up. So in some disposable pans so we can throw them away, we're going to layer some chips, any kind of chips will work, into the pan. And then we're going to take the chicken that we cooked earlier today and we're just gonna put that all over 
the actual nachos. Now we're just gonna cover all of that generously with some shredded cheddar cheese. Of course, for nachos, you can use whatever toppings you like. I'm gonna put some black olives on these because we like those. But you can also do chopped tomatoes, chopped onions, and a lot of people like jalapenos. So just top them with whatever nacho toppings you like. So the last thing you're gonna do is just cover them up with tin foil, but be sure to make a little bit of a tent as you're covering them up so that, so that the cheese doesn't stick to the top of the tin foil. We're gonna put them on the fire, but not in the direct heat because we don't wanna burn them. Everything's just kinda gonna melt together. All right. We let everything melt together for about 20 minutes. The nachos had a delicious smoky flavor and were quick and easy. Um, this trip beat all our expectations and was the perfect girls weekend. Together is the best place to be and the best place to be together is in the outdoors. Join us next time we're on the road with Dolly.